Am I the asshole? For not including my niece in my daughter's birthday since her parents can't afford it? My daughter and my niece are born 10 days apart. Due to this ever since they were little my sil has always pushed for them to have a shared birthday party. When the girls were younger one for we used to do shared birthday parties. But my husband and I realized that we were always the ones to foot the bill for everything food, decorations, location etc. The girls also were complete opposites. My daughter has always been more of a tomboy, while my niece is super girly. When my husband and I told Syl and my brother that we won't be doing the shared birthdays anymore, they were really upset and it started a huge fight. They said they can't afford to throw a nice birthday for my niece but we can, so it makes sense that we pay for it since we're family. Yeah, not gonna fly with my husband and I. So we stuck by what we said and ever since the girls have had separate birthdays. My daughter and my husband love watching Formula One together, and she wanted to have a Formula One themed birthday this year. The weekend before the birthday we had a family dinner at my parents' house. Sil, my brother and niece were present. My parents were asking the girls if they were excited for their upcoming birthdays, and if they were having parties this year. My daughter told my parents she is having a Formula One themed party this year. Sil answered for my niece and said they're not going to have a party for her because things were tight. The conversation was left there. Fast forward to this past weekend daughter's B-Day was on Saturday we had the party and it was going great. The whole family was invited as usual, and everyone was having a great time until the cake. I'm in the kitchen with my mom, Mill, Sil and a few other family friends talking. I pull the cake out to get it ready to bring out for everyone. Sil takes a look at the cake and looks confused. Sil is this the girl's birthday cake? Me what do you mean the girl's? The cake is for daughter's name. Sil well I thought since I mentioned that things are tight this year, that you'd include niece's name in the birthday. Me I understand your situation, but how come you never once mentioned this to me? Sil well I thought it would be common sense. Now my daughter isn't going to have any kind of celebration for her birthday this year because you and you husband are so selfish. She then stormed out of the kitchen, made a huge scene at the party outside yelling to her husband and my niece that it's time to go and left. Since then she's been messaging me and my husband non-stop trying to make us feel guilty that my niece isn't going to have a birthday party, and calling us all kinds of names. I feel bad that my niece isn't going to get a birthday party. Am I the asshole? For not including her even though they can't afford it? Not the asshole. First of all it's simply not your job to make sure your niece has a party. That's up to her parents. If things are tight maybe they need to be creative but it's still on them. Secondly, it's ridiculous for her to think that hinting around will get her daughter added to the party. If it was as important to her as she acts like it is then she should have had a frank conversation with you and simply asked. You could have still said no but there wouldn't have been the confusion. This is on them, not you. Not the asshole. But I'm very confused. How much money can you possibly invest in an HO birthday party? Most of my kids birthdays have been at the park with a self-made chocolate cake, some sweets, a fruit salad, a treasure hunt and some balloons. If you want a cool location or a VIP experience or whatever you can spend more obviously but that's completely optional. Children at that age mostly want to have fun with their friends and blow their candles. Not the asshole. The dollar store sells party decorations. Not the asshole. It's not your responsibility to host a party for your niece because her parents can't afford to. Plus the fact that your sil expected you to include your niece then called you selfish of throwing your own daughter her birthday party. Your sil is a joke. ETA it's not your fault they apparently couldn't money manage enough to throw their daughter her own separate birthday party. You can feel bad, but it's their own fault and trying to blame you is childish. They don't seem like very responsible people. Not the asshole. How much money does an ATO's birthday party cost? 
We've always only had a few friends and their families over for a few hours in the afternoon with cake and games. We lived in an apartment, so we either did games indoors or outside on community space. Like, I'm not understanding why they can't have an inexpensive party. Not the asshole. Common sense? Common sense tells us not to assume. Your sill and brother need to own their stuff if they need help with something, they need to ask, and to accept no as a response. Not the asshole that's on her. If she can not be an adult and actually use her words to say hey could help us out with a cake for my daughter this year then she doesn't get to pout and throw tantrums. How come grandparents didn't offer to get a cake? More than one person here who could have helped out. Why can't there be a family dinner with another cake on niece's birthday? Not the asshole, I cringe every time when people say but we're family. There's nothing like a bit of emotional blackmail. Your niece's birthday is not your responsibility and you shouldn't give in to her guilt trips. Stick to your guns, you've done nothing wrong. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Yes, your niece is family, but you're not responsible for her party. Being able to pay for something is not an obligation to pay for her party, and good for you for putting an end to being taken advantage of. Not the asshole. Your sill and brother sound incredibly entitled. That you're not at all responsible for your niece's birthday is beside the point. If she wanted you to put your niece's name on the cake too, she needed to ask. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You don't need to have a ton of money to throw a kid a birthday party. Mine was a box cake and a present or two most years and they were great birthdays. Their behavior is very selfish and I feel sorry for their kid. Info has anyone approached your parents about this? Maybe they could help out with your niece's party, or at least not bring it up in front of both of the kids. ETA not the asshole. Not the asshole at all. You don't need a lot of money to celebrate a birthday. Your sill is more interested in outsourcing everything to you. Not the asshole. While I'm sympathetic to them wanting their daughter to have a nice party that is not your responsibility, they are also teaching her a bad lesson that nice has to cost a lot of money. I survived grocery store homemade cake birthdays just fine. Maybe she could have a sleepover with friends where they get to do girly stuff she enjoys? There are a ton of ways to have a memorable celebration without spending a ton of money. You don't need to rent a location or buy decorations to have a good time. Not the asshole they are just using you and your money. Their child is their responsibility, including her birthday. I feel bad for your niece but it's not on you and your husband and your daughter to give her a birthday party. You still was being sneaky, it's not common sense. Edit for typos. Nada. But on your niece's B-Day ID be certain to give her a gift to show her how much you care for her. She will understand in time and maybe respect yours and your daughter's choices. Sil doesn't sound nice but your brother is definitely played out this decision too which is perplexing. Anyway visiting with a gift on your niece's birthday will be a good sign.